guys, and welcome back to Drone vs. Life, on the building side of life. Now today, we're going to be making a PVC bow out of these materials. I picked these up for around $9. I usually don't give out an items list, because I usually always end up having to get more items than I actually need. But for this, since I've actually done these before, you're going to need three of these. What are these called again? Oh yeah, three of these. Railway markers, yeah that. These are fiberglass, you're gonna need three of these, like I said, four times already, sorry about that. And then you're gonna need three fourths PVC pipe. I got mine a five foot long. All this together cost me around $9. Now depending on if you have the paracord or not, it may cost you a little bit more. I'm just gonna use some paracord I have lying around the house. So let's go ahead and get right into this video. All right guys, now I'm gonna be taking one of these, four foot long, railroad, whatever these things are called. Made in Mexico, how cool is that? No one cares, apparently. Uh, anyways, let's get on. I'm going to take one of these and keep it as a foot, foot, a foot, foot, wow, I'm smart. Derp, derp. I'm gonna keep it as a foot long, four foot long piece, and I'm gonna take one of these other four foot long pieces, and I'm gonna cut it in half right in the middle at two feet, and then I'm gonna try to laying it on each other, try to make a tiny triangle. If you, I'll show you later. Just trust me. If you can't follow along. And then I'm going to take this last one and I'm going to cut it up into individual feet pieces. And then I'm going to put them in the middle. Basically what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get something that's thicker in the middle and then as it goes out it gets thinner. So whenever I go to use it in the bow, it'll be really smooth and it'll hold its shape and it'll pull it back because it'll have a nice hard core that will get thinner as it goes out which makes it easier to pull which gives it more strength too. So this pipe won't deform from not having this which will happen if you don't use these. It'll deform over time and basically be useless. But I'm going to go ahead and cut these. Guys, I'm sorry, but I've been lying to you this whole time. I have been lying straight to your face. I didn't even know I was lying, but I've been lying. You're also going to need duct tape. Forgot all about duct tape. If you don't have duct tape, you need to get duct tape. I mean, that's all I can say. We're going to get some duct tape. Alright, and now that you've got your duct tape, beautiful duct tape, you're going to take your first stick and place it down. Then you're going to take your medium stick and you're basically just going to put them in here. And you're going to want to wrap them up around like this. Now I'm going to try to make sure there's an even foot on each side. But if you can get it like this, then whenever you're going to pull the bow, this will flex, these will flex, and then this will all flex at once. But your core will stay nice and strong so you don't have to worry about deforming your bow. See? I'm smart. Trust me. So, I'm going to go ahead and put these in the tape, and we're going to be good to go.
you're going to go ahead and slide it in to the half inch pipe. Alright guys, and now that you have the core inside, you basically have a freaking not heavy, but heavier than a PVC pipe is supposed to be stick. So, now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to put notches on the end of this and on the other side that you can't see that I just pointed to for no reason. And you're going to want to make sure you want to line them up really well because if you don't line them up then you're both screwed. So go ahead and line them up, carve them out. I'm going to be doing it a weird way so I'm not going to be showing you all. Alright guys, so I lied again. But basically the way I'm doing this, little notch right here is I'm turning this on, holding it down, and then grinding it out like this. Just basically pushing it up against it until it does the way I want it to. So now I'm going to go ahead and do it this way. And my main focus is trying to make sure it lines up with this one, because if it doesn't line up with this one, then it's basically useless. Alright, whenever you've got that done, go ahead and take some paracord and go ahead and just do a simple noose knot. The reason I picked a noose knot to do for these ones is because it makes it so much easier to get a tight and... But yeah, go ahead and do that for both sides. And you're not going to do it... Well, for me, I'm not going to know what to do all the way down here because obviously my bow ain't going to be that long. Sometimes you have to start trying to string your bow to really get an understanding of how long you need it to be. See, this is what I mean by string your bow a little bit. Basically, you go ahead and hook it in the one side, and then you travel it up the way. But you don't take it. My bad, you can't see shit. There we go. But you don't take it up all the way. If you take it up all the way, then it wouldn't be no point in stringing it. But no, you basically take it up to a certain point, And then you go ahead and give it a nice knot there. That's basically how you do that. And then I'll show you how to actually hook this knot, this little hoop, onto here. One minute. Alright guys. And once you've got your bow string to the length you think you need it, go ahead and take it like this. And you want to wrap your leg around it like that. And use your other foot to block it from moving like this. And you don't really need to muscle it. I mean, you need to pull it, obviously, but you don't need to muscle it all the way. You basically pull it like this, and then let gravity do the rest of the work. Just push your body weight down on it. And there you go. Your bow is done. Now, you can obviously do some cosmetic works to it if you want, but for me, if this is all I had, and I had to hunt with it, well, I'd be screwed because there's no arrows. Now, wouldn't I? And I have nothing to hold my arrows in, even when I do make them. Hmm, I wonder what I should do. But yeah, guys, that's how you make a PVC bow. With a reinforced core. I think it looks pretty good. Alright, guys, thanks for tuning in on Jordan vs. Life, the building side of life. Now, I enjoyed this one, but I've already made a few of these, and this is just showing very minimal stuff you can do. I just added a duct tape grip, and I don't know what this was, I just found it laying around, and I thought, wow, that'd make a good arrow notcher. I said if you didn't want to use your finger. But yeah, just adding simple little things that you can find laying around really helps. But as for my next video, 
I left a hint in the video. Go see if you can find it. And if you find it, tell me what you think it is down in the comments below. Now, if you like this type of content, don't forget that subscribe button. Also, if you like more, if you like this video, hit that like button too as well. It really helps me out. Don't forget to hit that notification bell too. That way you'll know when all my videos come out because I know you want to see that if you subscribed. Peace.